A Grand Island family turns their loss into a project that now takes flight. Kids who are left out at traditional playgrounds will soon have a level field to play on thanks to the community's generosity. Steve White joins us now live at Ryder Park. Steve, I understand really this started as a class project. Yeah, it was a group of Central Community College students. They thought they would start the ball rolling and pass it along to the next class. Little did they realize they would be the ones to take it from classroom to reality. Come on, Jake. The Vavracek family looked forward to the day Jet would play on these fields, but an accident reframed expectations. And on what we would be able to do with Jet. Jet passed away before he could play here, but now his legacy lives on with a playground just beyond the outfield for kids with special needs. Until you're in that position, you don't know how much it means. Uh, Stories like that moved a community college class to act. Three months time, we had an idea, we had a, a design for it, we had a budget, and then we presented it to a uh, group of people from the Grand Island community and everyone uh, was 100% for it. Now, this is a class project that's been going on for several years and, and not only just in this community but in other communities too. Brian Klingensmith has three young kids and one day noticed how a girl in a wheelchair had nowhere to play. And she decided to sit out on the outside and watch what was going on. She couldn't join in. Central Community College board member Tom Perney and his wife Sue made the lead gift of 200000 the start of a campaign that has now topped 1.6 million. Definitely still a small town. Everybody <laughs> is willing to chip in and help everyone else. In. The city of Grand Island is also investing 1.25 million to add accessible restrooms and more parking. The centerpiece, a 27,000 square foot playground with zip lines, sensory equipment, and other features designed with kids and caregivers in mind. Even parents who have a disability who normally couldn't be involved They'll be able to be there right, you know, with their kids. and Built in honor of kids like the one nicknamed Fighter Jet. It means a lot for us to be able to get back to the community in a way that you would have enjoyed. Construction is happening right now. They hope to be done this fall. And Colleen, as the dad of a little girl who, when she was pretty little, had some surgery and we couldn't take her to very many playgrounds, I could definitely see the need. Oh, Steve, thank you for that report.